Welcome to the Geo Blacklight Sprint 4 and 5 demo. Um, we haven't, we've, it's been a few weeks since we've done a demo, so we're excited to be back and uh, share with you the progress we've made over several weeks. Uh, one thing to note is uh, we're continuing our practices and using continuous integration builds and um, code coverage on our code. Uh, but we've been doing, uh, we've had at least 10 releases actually in the past, um, in the past few weeks since, since our last broadcast. So these releases actually can be found on the Geo Blacklight uh, releases page on GitHub. And on all those we have release notes that shares um, the updates that have been added, the bug fi fixes, and a commit history for that. I think we've actually had 117 different commits since since our last broadcast. So we're excited about to share all the progress that we've had in the past uh, few weeks. So the first thing here is I'm at the home page, and um, if you're joining us online and haven't seen uh, since the last demos, you can see significant updates to the home page here. We've added in some uh, faceted searches that uh, can be initiated right off the home page here on the left-hand side. So I can immediately jump into a search. Let's say I'm looking for all the resources at uh, Minnesota. I can click on that institution and immediately get back results um, faceted to that institution. I can see they have over 2,200 uh, layers available. Uh, we not only do those faceted searches with institutions, but we have it for the different data types that are available. Uh, we give you the um, place names too, so if I wanted to start into a place name search, I can do that right here. Um, and I can search actually with an numerical and A to Z sort. You can also click on a subject search here, and that'll take me to search results. Uh, other enhancements made on the home page here is um, added uh, functionality to the spatial search function. So we have this search here box now uh, control that's available. So when I zoom into an area on a map and I want to search um, in that area, I can click the search here button and it's actually going to create that spatial search, give me results back, and um, you know uh, rank them for that uh, given area. Uh, we, we've also added this control here, uh, search when I move the map here on the results page. So, and, and it's checked by default so that when, so it tells a user that when I'm actually uh, searching here and move the map over, it's going to change my results. It's going to search for my results within the map area that I'm at. So if I zoom into France, I'm going to get results back that are relevant to France or have France in the title. I can unclick that and explore the map. And then also the button changes to redo search here and I click that um, and it will give me back results um, in that certain area. So I can see here some different results um, around. But one thing to note on this result set specifically is this new icon here. It looks like a folded up map. We're using that icon for um, you know, resources that are paper maps. Um, and so these may be maps that um, aren't necessarily digitized or available through a geo web service, but they're still important for users to be able to find and know about. And they still uh, get information on their show page here. Um, and we also actually link out to that resource. So if it's held at a different institution, we can um, see it linked out at uh, MIT here. So that way a user could find, um, find that resource. So I want to share some um, other interesting uh, functionality enhancements that have been added in the past few weeks. Uh, one thing is a new type of um, data that we allow uh, you to download as. So we've um, updated the way that um, uh, you can actually uh, download data and uh, easily add new types of download formats. So you'll see here on the download uh, split button here, we have a new format downloaded in GeoJSON. So I can use that to generate and download um, data in GeoJSON format. Uh, one thing else is we've added this um, attribute table um, inspection box here um, on the uh, 
on the landing page, and so a user when they 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 know that they can click on the map by you know it's prompting to them that they can uh, that they have that ability. Uh, another thing added here on the show page is updates to the way that the metadata is displayed. We've changed uh, some different words around here, so abstract to description. Um, we've added a publish date on the um, uh, publishers uh, section, and we also have this more details at. So if there's uh, if the resource is available online from a URL, they'll be able to click through to that uh, URL and get that. But we also have these uh, linked searches. So for place names and subject headings that are in the Geo Blacklight schema metadata, I'm able to link out and click to a specific search. So say my area of interest um, is boundaries. I'm interested in boundaries. Or Sonoma County. I can actually click Sonoma County now on there, and I get a search that will give me back all the results that have a place name um, specified as Sonoma County. Another, um, another new uh, download type that was added in the past week is the ability to download items um, in, that are ARC grid type file formats. So I'm going to link off my uh, Sonoma County uh, search here. And maybe I want to search for uh, inland waters. And I'm interested in um, a format that is arc grid. So this will give me back the results that meet those uh, facets. And I'm able to actually download that file, the original file in its arc grid uh, format, but I'm also at, able to download a generated uh, file from um, in a GeoTIFF, but that is the original arc uh, grid file. Some of the other things we've added in the past uh, week is um, uh, history. Uh, so bounding boxes now are shown in my uh, results, uh, uh, my search history. Another thing we've enabled, too, is the date range plugin. So Blacklight offers a robust plugin eco uh, system already. We've been able to enable that uh, by default in Geo Blacklight. So a user who is uh, on this search right now, which is for arc grid files that um, the subject is inland waters, I'm actually able to do a date range. And I can see that there's uh, files available for these different uh, date ranges just by this um, little uh, chart here. And I can narrow the results to only include um, those specific ones. And that gives me eight results back, so I may be able to find um, the data I'm looking for in a, a quicker, faster way now. So that's all we have to share with you this week. Um, a lot of the, you can please check the release notes on our GitHub page for a lot of different information about, um, you know, the uh, new updates and bug fixes that have gone out. And uh, thank you very much.